Oh, my dolorous mother, I am the common man of Scotland. I am like a dull ass, for I am compelled to bear an impossible burden, and I am kicked and prodded to do things which are above my power. I labour, nicht and day, with my hands to feed lazy and idle men, and they reward me with hunger and the sword. I sustain their life with the sweat of my body, and they persecute my body with outrage and hardship, so that I become a beggar. O oh, my mother Scotland, ye accuse me of the faults that my twa brothers commit daily. My twa brothers, the Scots nobles and the Scots clergy, should defend me against our old enemies, the English, but they commit mere cruelty against me than the English do. They may be my brother Scots, but they are my mortal enemies of very death. How can I be patient when there is no thing that can be added to my burden but cruel death? The goods that I make with my labours are taken from me, my corn and my cattle taken from me, and that very same corn lifted to such a high price that my wife and bairns are forced to drink water instead. All because of my twa tyrant brother Scots. When I am a merchant or a mechanic craftsman, then I am compelled to give my labour to my twa cruel brother Scots. But when I ask them for payment that I need to sustain my life, I am attacked by them and oft times slain. It is not possible to imagine the violence that I endure daily. The war is quiet against England, but the acts of war that my twa brother Scots execute against me consumes my miserable life. I am banished from my house. I am assailed by those who should defend me, the nobles and the clergy of Scotland, who cannot sustain their life and station without my labour. They have both become my enemies. I am left desolate, without defence, as I am in the hands of wrongful oppressors, who profess to be my brothers, but they make me suffer mere persecution than does the cruel war of the English. Therefore, I cry upon God and his eternal justice to take vengeance on the perpetrators of violence or commit such cruel iniquities on the poor people of Scotland. I hope that God will relieve me and take me forth through this miserable life to the ingratitude of my twa brother Scots and the misknowledge of God. The misgoverning of Scotland are the cause of all my affliction. For as their evil conquests multiply their riches, so their delicious idleness and misknowledge of God increases. My twa brothers, the nobles and the clergy are in such a fearful state as I complain to you, O oh Mother Scotland, that none of them desists for the vices which give me occasion to complain. <clears throat> to them, what glory in their noble blood. I say that since the world began, there have I been labourers and mechanic craftsmen. And if only surgeon would draw the blood to a nobleman and collect it in a basin, it would have nae better colour than the blood of a labourer or mechanic craftsman. This is the arrogant mind of our twa brother Scots and their vanity. Therefore, I declare, O mother Scotland, that thou accuse my twa sophisticated brothers and no me! God kens weel that I am innocent of thy accusation and that the remedy to thy affliction lies beyond my possibility. Oh, my dolorous mother, we, what are the common people of Scotland, should never be suspected of treason, considering we neither have the time, the opportunity, nor do we personally ken the King of England, Henry the Echt. <laughs> 